guys, we have the Z-Man Evergreen Jackhammer here today. And this is the, I'm gonna talk about why this particular lure is arguably worth the $20 investment that it is. So let's kind of get this out of the water. Let's show you guys this up close. But this is Jackhammer from Evergreen and Z-Man. This is a, a half ounce green pumpkin color with a little race trimmer on the back. Um, but this is a basically a mix between Evergreen and Z-Man, designed by Brett Height. And uh, he is a big chatterbait fisherman. He even has a dedicated a series of rods from Evergreen designed specifically for moving baits, um, specifically this jackhammer. Um, it's got a great side to side motion and it's got everything about it just screams quality compared to the older, sorry, compared to the other um, Z-Man chatterbaits. So if you guys are familiar with these chatterbaits, Z-Man makes several of these in different uh, price points. Uh, the cheaper you go, the cheaper the build and the more expensive you go, the, quali the, the better quality you get. Uh, with better materials, better hooks, and all that kind of stuff. So uh, this is the highest quality you can get out of the um, chatterbaits. And so this one here is a green pumpkin, half ounce, with a little base trimmer on it. And they make uh, several other colors. My other favorite color that, color that I have is actually the Firecracker Red. I don't have it with me right now. But that is one of my favorite colors to throw in the springtime. And I just decided to throw the green pumpkin today. But it's a fantastic little chatterbait that creates a lot of displacement in the water. That blade just hunts. And the best thing about it is they're, they are always phenomenal out of the packaging. Um, I don't have to worry about one not being able to swim right or anything like that. And the best thing about it is as soon as you turn the handle, it vibrates that is kind of really what you're paying for uh, it just goes you know it doesn't take a you know two or three turns for it to to get right and for it to swim it just swims right away and the vibration just goes right away um, and that that makes a big difference especially if you're fishing um, for bass smallmouth because a lot of the times you could get a bite as soon as that 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 uh you know that lure hits the, the water we've always had that kind of a situation happen in the past and so this thing just swims trues all the time. Never have to have any issues with it. Not swimming it right out of the package. It is just phenomenal. Uh, the colors they offer are phenomenal and it's a great small chatterbait that's available. Um, again, they are a little pricey. You know, they're probably in that 17 to $20 range depending upon where you find them. Um, but if you can catch these on sale or if you can catch them on a deal, you know, they are fantastic and they are definitely worth the money. So where would I throw this compared to the other chatterbaits? Because this is a $20 chatterbait. Um, I'm gonna throw this in lakes, river systems where I might not get hung up a lot. Um, if I know that I'm gonna get hung up on some wood or some rocks, or if I'm in a sketchier area, or if I'm wading the river, I might throw the cheaper chatterbaits, like the original Z-Mans. I still have several of those in my in my um, my tackle. But if I'm throwing, if I'm fishing a tournament, or if I'm fishing a lake where you know I'm not fishing sketchy areas or fishing grass, um, that nature, I'm gonna throw the jackhammer because I'm not worried about you know losing this this thing in that kind of a situation because chances are you probably won't be losing that in that kind of a situation. Versus I'm fishing uh, wading the, the river here, I might want to throw something different. Um, so that way if I get caught, lost, whatever. It's not a big deal. I'm not losing 20 bucks. I'm losing five instead of 20. But the big difference is the quality, the craftsmanship, um, and again, the ability to this thing, this basically works 100% of the time. You know, I haven't had any jackhammer where I, it didn't swim right, or it didn't swim out of the package, or I had to modify anything. It is ready to go. All you have to do is toss a plastic on it and you're pretty much ready to go fishing. Um, that's the awesome thing about this guy. And you could toss, you know, several different types of trailers on it. Um, I mix it up depending upon what I'm fishing and where I'm fishing and what kind of a, you know, color I have. But it just really depends on, 
on the situation. And I do have other, like I said, I do have other chatterbaits out there too as well. Um, I have the jackal chatterbaits. I have the, the crickets um, from Strike King. I also have the slobber knocker from Berkeley, which I'll be doing a video on pretty soon. But I think out of, you know, out of the packaging, the best one hands down is the jackhammer. And that is not being biased because of the price point, but that is because it's been out for several years. It's been tested. It worked. It catches fish. And it just, has a it just has a reputation of working. And that's what I like. I don't like to tinker with my gear. I don't like to tinker with anything. My lures, my rods. I like it to just come ready. You know, you're spending that much money. You might as well have it ready to work out of the package, right? So that's the awesome thing about the jackhammer. The, the biggest thing that I like about these is, is the hook. Um, this thing has a very, very stout hook compared to the cheaper z-man chatterbaits if you look at the cheaper ones they have like a the finish is different it's not as stout as this and this is the big difference why you pay for the uh, jackhammer you get a very you get a nicer blade better paint job on it too as well you also get a well painted head and you also get realistic eyes um, a nice rubber skirt and then again your stout hook which you're going to get in these just are engineered to swim 100% out of the packaging and they just go awesome in the water they just kind of create that vibration and it just fish are just attracted to it they just are that's the awesome thing about the z-man and the evergreen jackhammer so you can find these everywhere guys tackle warehouse has them uh, you can find them at your local tackle shops these are available pretty much anywhere there was a time where these were kind of harder to find when they first came out but it's been several years and they are pretty much available anywhere uh, they sell them you know whether if it's colors that might run out but whatever but that's expected but you know they always have jackhammers available now compared to when they first came out i appreciate you guys watching this video stick around for some close-up shots of the evergreen jackhammer